Justin Jennings contributed to the rich success of what was once Grand Rapids Central High School. The Rams stand out, then took his talents to West Lafayette to play for the Purdue Boilermakers. There he won three Big Ten championships. But his success on the court was only hiding his shortcomings in the classroom. Former Wood TV 8 standout Ruben Juarez has a story from our sister station, WLFI. It's an ordinary January Michigan morning. Inside the halls of Ypsilanti Community High School stands a big man. Hey, let's go! In a big brown suit, who took an extraordinary path to become a leader. With minutes to go before his students begin an exam day, Principal Justin Jennings gives them a friendly reminder. So if you're not in class, teachers will lock the doors and you'll be escorted to the auditorium until the next exam. You know, I, I would have never, you know, imagined myself in this situation, having sat back in that classroom, you know, 20-something years ago, you know, at Central. As a high school basketball star at Grand Rapids Central in West Michigan, Jennings aspired to reach the next level. Them shorts are small. <laughs> in spite of the tight attire, there was no doubt Jennings was a high flyer. At the end of my recruitment, I was getting recruited by just about every school you can imagine. I, my last few schools were, were Purdue, Michigan State, um, Arizona. While many saw his talent on the hardwood, hardly anyone recognized Jennings' struggle in the classroom. Right. Yeah. He could yeah. barely started, read. Like it, it took some time to realize that, I mean, for me to realize how deficient I was. But yeah, there was, there was uh, I would say there was a lot of embarrassment. In spite of his struggle, Jennings graduated from high school with grades good enough to get into Purdue. As a first-generation college student, Jennings had no idea of the academic endeavor he was about to embark on when he arrived on campus in 1992. My first semester of college, a guy who can't read, I took 21 hours. <laughs> so it was, it was crazy. <laughs> and I remember Coach Katie calling me in the office. because They were like, what are you doing? I'm the son of a pastor, Justin pretty much memorized the Bible growing up. Ironically, his problem came to light during a Bible as literature class. And we were reading a verse that, I mean, Habakkuk. And that's not something you, you normally read in the Bible. So I couldn't do it. And the teacher kind of sensed it. Jennings took a test that determined that he read at a third grade level. Brandon Brantley, a teammate of Jennings at Purdue and a current member of the Boilermaker coaching staff, was surprised by the news when I spoke to him. <laughs> well, now that, that's shocking. I didn't, I didn't know that. I mean, uh, he's a well-spoken guy. Uh, he's intelligent, so I, I never would have guessed it. When you're, you know, a basketball player, you don't want people to understand or know that you, you, know, you can't read. He set out on a mission to learn how to read. He reached out to his former third grade teacher and they started with the basics. We were talking about words and she was showing me how to sound them out and different things like that. So during that time, I, I, don't, I probably shouldn't tell this, but I actually almost fl uh, flunked out of Purdue. He secluded himself in the stacks, far away from his peers and simply put, just read. Starting with kids books like The Giving Tree. By the start of his senior year, not only did I, was I able to read, but I was comprehending what I was reading also. Jennings left West Lafayette in 1996, a success on the court, picking up three Big Ten titles and a success in the classroom, graduating with a degree in African American Studies. His time at Purdue would prove to be the springboard <laughs> to a lifelong yearning for learning. Ruben Juarez, 24 Hour News 8. And that's just the beginning of Jennings' tale. Straight ahead, we'll continue to look at that springboard, part two of his journey that took him all the way around the world and then back home. And just after the Jennings story, the rule that is ruining college basketball, is it? Still time to get your take in for Casey's Cut. That's coming up on Sports Overtime. Justin Jennings was a star on the hard court, first at Central High School and then at Purdue. But it was his wins in the classroom that changed his life. Ruben Juarez from our sister station, WLFI, has part two of Jenny's journey. Justin, 37.5 on his last dunk. After playing pro ball overseas and in the American lower leagues, Jennings went back to where it all started. He coached at his high school and taught middle school special education classes. Being able to work with kids has always been, you know, something important to me from my struggles with, with my academics and my reading. His degree from Purdue was not a teachable major, so he went back to school. Jennings enrolled at Grand Valley State University and earned a pair of master's degrees 
in special education teaching. While at Grand Valley, his high school principal became a dean at the university and steered Jennings toward a master's in educational leadership. At the end of my probably four or five years of school, I had three master's degrees and then um, I, I just kept working and I, I didn't I didn't want to stop. He never intended to become a principal until his superintendent gave him an ultimatum. And he was like, hey, we need you to, you know, uh, help us with the school. And I'm like, what if I say no? And he was like, well, if you say no, then you probably have to find another job. He started off as an assistant and worked his way up to become the head principal at a couple different high schools. And it feels good to, you know, actually be out of the struggle, kind of into a new struggle, because high school education and education period is kind of a, it's an everyday struggle. Jennings was seeking a new challenge, so he jumped at the chance to become the principal at Ypsilanti Community High School in 2013, which was entering its first year of consolidation. And this was an opportunity to do something that's not, that hasn't, that really is not really normal to consolidate two school districts. So on the first day of school, he told the students something he had never shared openly that he couldn't read during his days as a student. I wanted them to know, and I say to him all the time, if, I, if this is something I can overcome, you can overcome anything. Now in his second year at Ipsy, there's no doubt that Principal Jennings has made an impact. This is my favorite student. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? We, we spent a lot of time together last year, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's done a dramatic turnaround. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Dramatic turnaround. She went from from being, almost being expelled to being probably one of our best students here. Not only students, but leaders. When I seen that somebody was caring about me as a school-wise and seen that I was really smart and productive in school, that's when um, I started doing something about it. I never take credit for anything, but I'll take the blame for everything. So when, when something negative happens, I want to fix it. It's a philosophy he traces back to his days at Purdue under head coach Gene Cady. It means a lot to me that he overcame a, a problem in his life that would keep him from getting a degree. And I'm proud of all my players that have endeavors in teaching, especially. The principal is still not done learning. Jennings is working on his doctorate at the University of Michigan. Reporting at Ypsilanti Community High School, Ruben Juarez, 24-Hour News 8. Well, Jenny says he wants to continue to make education the focal point of his life after his doctorate. He says he wants to be a superintendent. Seems like he's really just getting things started. Well, coming up next, the one and dones in college b-ball. Is it good for the game or is it crippling college hoops for good? That's up next on Sports Overtime.